here we are working on my generator which uh, is probably only has 16 hours on it um, and it uh, at start uh, when it was running in idle it would just surge and not run right um, you other YouTube videos talked about cleaning this uh, small little idle jet and after taking this thing apart I found this uh, little idle jet here um, with a very small hole in the bottom of it. Um, I took a piece of stranded wire here and stripped off uh, insulation and took one strand and that seemed to fit right down in here. Tried to clean it and then I sprayed carb cleaner through everything. Um, that thing on this carburetor just fits, well let's just see uh, it's right down in here. It's a press fit. Um, so I'm going to press that back in there, I hope. Yep, that just slid down in there. Uh, and there was a little, doesn't thread in or anything. Um, just was held in by this little uh, clip. Um, and after doing this, it's probably possible to get this thing out of there with some, without taking the whole carburetor off. But I wanted to get it apart so I could see what was in there and maybe spray carb cleaner through the other, uh, the other jets and things. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it's this or one of the other carburetor jets. I cleaned through this. If you look over here at the... Uh, fuel line there's no fuel filter on this thing um, what they depend on for fuel filter is um, this little thing right here and if you ask me it's not real bright I've taken it out before um, I was using this in the middle of a grass field with lots of dirt and stuff. I was filling it while it was running. Um, so what I think I'm going to do um, is go to the farm and fleet and get a little inline filter, cut this and put a, an actual fuel filter in there. That jet is so small, just any little piece of dirt or sand uh, is going to cause problems so um, yeah, I'll keep putting this thing back together um, carburetor was like this it this this is the bowl it has a little uh, nicely it actually has a little drain screw here and a tube that lets you in the, to winterize the thing you can turn that screw and drain the fuel out of the float bowl that's pretty awesome um, so let's see here uh, Um, which side was the engine side? That side was. This was kind of pointing out. This can go on just about any way, but uh, we want the the, uh, the drain line to be accessible. Um, here's the. So I might. I don't. I didn't. I should have marked. Put a mark on here to mark where this was lined up, so that when I put it back together. So what's going to happen to me now is I'm going to have to. If it's not pointing towards the outside here, I'll have to loosen this bolt and just rotate it in place after I put the carburetor back on. Uh, it's. I'm just going to guess it was about like that. We'll see. So tighten this guy up. That's snug, and uh, all right. Well, I'm just going to continue with the assembly, and we'll come back and we'll see what happens. Okay, so you can see I've slid the carburetor back onto the bolts here. This was luckily lined up. 
pretty good. You know, it, there's an access panel here that lets you take this out and drain that, but that's good. I guess I'll make sure that that's tight, closed. I reattached the servo motor with these two screws, and there's a, a little spring down in here. I don't know if we can see that. Um, mm. I think, yeah, I think you can see that little spring right there. So when you put that servo motor back together and take it apart, don't don't let that spring shoot away. Um, plugged plug the electrical. That's this is a little servo motor that throttles the engine. Put that back on. Um, now we'll put the air cleaner assembly back on and um, reattach the fuel. Reattach the fuel line, and this is uh, the flow control. Uh, maybe I'll go get that fuel filter before. I do all this because I don't really want more dirt in there and taking this all apart again. Be back in a bit. Well, here goes. Nothing. Let's see. Fuel on, engine on, choke out. What it's supposed to sound like. I was just switching the economy switch. Uh, so in there you can see I added a fuel filter. I just went to the small engine uh, wall at the farm and fleet and picked a big Briggs and Stratton filter and I had a choice between a 150 micron and a 75 micron and I just picked the smaller one. Uh, Because, uh, well, I already had dirt in here once, so um, smaller seemed better. Um, you can see I put the clamps on there. I got to get another clamp for the, for the carb side. Um, you know, uh, if it was just the low speed jet, I don't think you would have had to disassemb disassemble as much as I did. Probably just take the tank off, take off this uh, servo motor here, and then you can reach the, the idle jet, which is kind of on the back of the carburetor there. That just—it was a press fit in. I pulled it out with a pair of needle nose pliers. 